afternoon from Big Sur, California. We're here at the Point Sur Lighthouse. We got lucky enough to be here on one of the days that they uh, offer tours of the lighthouse in the wintertime. Uh, it's obviously less frequent. Uh, it's a beautiful day. The weather has improved dramatically since yesterday, and so we have some sunshine, and it's warm, and there's no rain, so we can get out and do some things and enjoy the area. And um, this tour that we're taking, we'll head up there to that lighthouse. Seems like there's a lot of buildings, so hopefully there's plenty of things to do to fill the three hours, but I know Ben's a little nervous about that because he has the tension span of about three minutes instead of three hours. This road kind of reminds us, uh, or at least this stretch of it, kind of reminds us of the Seward Highway. A lot of illegal passing and dangerous driving behavior going on here because it's a two lane and windy curvy road and you have a lot of tourism on the road too I think uh, people who haven't driven it before versus the locals so anyway I'm excited for this tour to get started and hopefully Ben doesn't go start raving mad on the tour <laughs> hi there Whoa. hi you're here for the tour we are oh okay it's a three-hour tour mm -hmm. And once you're in, you can't leave for three hours. We keep you. It's about a mile up the hill, so uh, walking in there about a hundred steps total. Two of you? Just the two of us. And you're good with the three hours? Mm -hmm. yep. First name, please. Rebecca. Alrighty, head on down to the end of the road. Another guy in yellow will show you where to park. Thank you. We are in to the California State Park. <laughs> I kind of feel like the Hotel California. <laughs> like you may never be able to leave. Look at that pretty boy. He has like the perfect Hereford face. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Calves. Moo. See? They talk to you. I wonder if these guys kiss you like my dad's cows do. Go for it. I'd make great videos. Smith uh, building and a barn with kind of like a farm type thing and then a couple of houses so there's a whole little town kind of thing not just the lighthouse. This was all milled back on the east coast. They brought all the pieces together, brought it around to the horn and built it here. This is one of the Fresnel lenses so you can see all of the prisms it has which uh, concentrates and directs its light. This is kind of cool, you can see all of the lighthouses on the central coast. We have found a condor, California condor, hanging out on the roof here. You can see he's tagged from the facility that raises these guys now. So now we've made it to the headmaster's house at the top of the hill. Um, it takes a good while to get up here, about an hour and 47 minutes into the tour. Uh, but it's a beautiful home and apparently, from what I've learned, these were actually civil service jobs if you came and worked at the lighthouse and it had a great retirement. Only catch is you and your family have to come out to where the lighthouse is. You can't come in this way. You can't come around. He's always breaking the rules. So they've restored the headmaster's house to what it would have looked like in the 1950s. And it is really like a step back in time. My grandma Moore had biscuit cutters just like that. I swear they're the same ones. It's kind of neat though. They've got old food boxes, dishes that look like the 1950s. It's very inviting. Imagine growing up with 
of you like this. When was this building last occupied? 1974. Oh. I think we would have, like, if we had come of age in the time of lighthouses, might have been that kind of couple who would have taken on the adventure of a lighthouse. Well, yeah, there was a bathtub in the uh, lighthouse keeper's place. <laughs> you that would have survived. sold me on it. All right, Benjamin, lay your brutal honesty on us about the tour. Am I, like, known for brutal honesty? <laughs> you really have to ask that? I know. Um, awesome place really cool stuff up there three hours a bit excessive it kind of moved at like a snail's pace I almost equate it to walking through a museum and stopping every single interpretive sign to read it and you know very few people are interested in every single interpretive sign so it was fun it was cool totally worth doing but it could have been a little shorter. I um, enjoyed the tour. I agree that it was a little long at three hours, but I really liked the fact that we did the tour because you learn a lot. And if you just walk around a place, it doesn't have as much meaning. Oh, there you are, guys! <laughs> hey! Uh-oh. We gotta tell Grandma we're crossing rivers in her car now. Dear. Not in Grandma's car. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. We've done a lot in Grandma's car <laughs> over the past couple months. Well, we need to name the car. We've, we've had some good times in our little car. Oh, we have a gate. Area closed. Sunset to sunrise. Okay. What's the damage? Hi, how are you? Good. $10. Okay. Can I ask a question? Of course. Uh, I can't see all the signs, but drones. As far as I know, they are okay. Cool. There was only one time where I've been told they aren't okay. Is when was when we had the Sobranus fire going on because the helicopter yes. leaving spot was just a few miles away. All right. As far as I know, it should be fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Brownie points for the state of California right now. All right, here it is. We are at Pfeiffer Beach. We made it just in time for golden hour. Thanks for riding with us today. Tomorrow we are hitting the road, taking this kind of back way over to the 101. Everybody says we shouldn't do it, but I kind of have local knowledge, so we're gonna do it anyways. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you later.